It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, What's going on there? Body, it's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we got a shoe. You know, these came in the mail yesterday. I was gonna shoot the video yesterday, but I saved it for today. Um, today is Saturday. We did have a Cardinal Threes drop, y'all. I did a hey, shout out to my shout out to my cuzzo because between me and him, I was able to hit on my side. Shout out to Cuzzo. Um, but I won't be doing a review on that shoe probably for about a month. So because I'm about to leave and go to school, and by the time they get here with the mail and everything yeah i would have already missed them. this pair right here um as you guys can see i got the disney daytona 500 race car jacket this is from like 2000 like mid to like like early 2000s i'm talking about before uh maybe about 2000 and four five six i feel like seven people was rocking them real heavy you know you had the brown and uh yellow race car m&m jacket we had the, the um just the all red the budweiser joints that they had the cat jackets like uh for the cat track the trailer company race car track jackets um it was a bunch of them man and this one right here i've always wanted a pair of sneakers to match these and to match this should i say and i bought this pair of shoes off the shrimp of the jacket man i ain't even gonna lie to you and they don't match whatsoever well in a way they do but in a way they don't so i don't think they match enough for me to want to rock it you feel me so we're gonna go ahead and bust these bad boys open i do like the i do like what they stand for this is a woman's exclusive release right here these did drop on the 17th i believe i got these off of the sneakers app so these are the women's air jordan 5 retro low arctic orange siren red and black and the suggested retail i don't know why the suggested retail sticker is not on this box from nike but uh there's no suggested retail sticker on there but these were 170 dollars retail and i got these bad boys for under retail a little slight stealing deal y'all know the vibes and we in there yes lord yes lord y'all so this is the girls that hoop this is the women's exclusive that came out um i actually got a little song right here on the midsole right there on the shoe but it's all good on the midsole right there on the shoe but it's all good now you know every year they do something women releases you know we saw the i'm um, in years drop these right here having that arctic orange colorway on the top with the siren red so when it comes to the girls there who, you know, kind of like the I'm um, in years, this is a woman's exclusive and it pays homage to the ladies, man. Now these did go up to a size 10 and a half, which is a size 12 in women's. So I went on there and I picked a pair up to go with this jacket that it really don't go with. Now, go ahead and say celebrating the women's basketball communities around the world, a special Air Jordan Low 5. Girls there who is inspired by the washed out colors and tones seen on the same gritty outdoor courts they play on using soft leathers colors like arctic orange and siren red pay homage to the outdoor courts that they have braved the elements and brightly refurbished ones alike i think that they did an outstanding job on this colorway man it's, it's pretty fire man it's just that they don't serve the purpose that i needed them to serve i needed them to match this jacket and when i look at it you know you're catching it on camera it looks like they match ariel but they don't i feel like if this shoe had just been i guess i miss played that siren red man that siren red it don't hit the way that i thought that it was gonna hit um if that had been more of a red red i feel like it would have matched at least her a little bit better and i just would have pulled it off with this jacket anyway so it ain't gotta be too matchy matchy but i just really felt like this would have went a lot harder if this color right here would have been like the tight color right here but i don't know man it is what it is I uh, this is not my first Air Jordan 5 low in the collection. I've actually come across quite a bit of cool colorways when it comes to the Air Jordan 5 retro low. When it comes to the Air Jordan 5 retro low, this would be my fourth one now in the collection. China New Year's being my first ever. I actually doubled up on these and this was actually the first shoe that I ever sold to StockX because I ended up selling the double up to StockX. Then we have the New York Nick 5, the low fire. I love the way that these look. 
you know, when you lace them up and everything like that, I just feel like the low top fives, they look fire, you feel me, with certain colorways. And these right here, I had to cop these just because I don't have the fire red five black tongue high. Hopefully, we'll see a Nike Air branding come out and I'll be able to pick them up. But I went on ahead and I settled with the low. And, you know, I think that five lows, they actually look really, really decent with denim, even with joggers, just depending, even with shorts, you know, because sometimes I feel like with the five highs, they don't look like the classic OG high five, that jump don't look right, I feel like, with shorts. And that's just my personal opinion, you know, I wouldn't wear that shoe with too many shorts. Well, I have, but it's just that it's more like basketball shorts, you know, if you're just going to throw on some basketball shorts or something like that, I don't really rock them with cargos or nothing like that. That. but that's just my personal preference you feel me but y'all already know man hope you guys enjoyed this video i will spin some pictures for you guys did you pick up this pair of air jordan fives girls that hoot and uh i know this is more so i feel like one of those colorways that you know this would be for the ladies man but i mean you know hey they went all the way up to a 10 and a half. I think the colorway slick. I'm probably just going to hold on to them and just keep them. You know, if I don't end up ever wearing them, then I'll just use them as some trade bait or something like that down the line. But as of right now, I plan to hold on to them. I think they have some nice little dope touches when it comes to these. And I think that that 3M hit, they put a 3M hit right there on the inner and the outer panels of on the cage netting. You do have a 3M hit. You don't have it going up the cage netting right there with the tongue. Um area but i mean nonetheless pretty dope colorway quality materials pretty nice on these bad boys hey jordan brand keep doing your thing comment down below let me know if you guys picked a pair of these bad boys up i'll spend some pictures for you guys until the next video y'all know how we rock man peace love in laguna beach and we out this thing yeah! Couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never go step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lace up these black cement threes And throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid And hopefully I can just hit forever